Hello there, good morning to you. This is Kakaki Social. Thank you so much for joining us again today. We will begin today's episode with this video. We will establish student loan. Four years course. Must be four years course. Conceptually, the student loan. No one should be left behind. I've started it in Lagos. Now that was President Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress APC in the 2023 election, promising to ensure that student loan is available for inclusive education without interest. Now the bill has now been signed by him. It was proposed by the former Speaker of the Ninth House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, who would be resuming office as the President's Chief of Staff Wednesday 14 June. That will just be tomorrow. Now, <laughs> you must, among other things, be from a low-income family to access the loan and you are expected to pay back two years after NYSC. And that you are neither an employee nor an entrepreneur is not the government's business after two years of NYSC as you must begin repayment with 10% of your monthly earnings. So sorry, <laughs> there is no room for what if I don't have anything doing after service and yes a two-year jail term or a fine of 500,000 naira awaits defaulters know this and no peace let's see it was trending yesterday after mr president took to his twitter account to announce the development so responding to official um ahmed Tinubu is Agba Akin who says, good luck to you, my president. I hope your good intentions for assenting this bill comes to pass with a sustainable and effective economy that allows convenient repayment for anyone who explores this means of education. And he says, love you. Nedu says, my concern with this is that it is another avenue for government officials and politicians to siphon money. Plus, students from certain regions wouldn't meet any of the requirements, but we get the loans in the twinkle of an eye, while the other region will meet every, but won't see Shingbai. Shingbai technically is zero naira, whether it's dollars or whatever, like shishi, you know, go see, that's Shingbai. Balogun says, a country with over 34% unemployment wants government to pay back or what students to pay back loan after two years of completing NYSE from the Gala and La Casera that they are selling. Well, you don't have to pay back everything, 10% until you are done, depending on the amount you were given. Olori Ogene says, the time period for initial evaluation of performance in public office is usually 100 days. Tinubu's excellent performance in a short period has made us shift the evaluation period to 14 days. The student loan bill will have a major impact in education, and he says, thanks. Also reacting to that is Efe Nudu, who says, your excellency, sir, the process of getting this loan is very hard. If I had those guarantors as a student who can stand in for me in getting a loan, then I shouldn't be needing the loan because with their state of living, they should be able to support me with the little they can. Well, you now, you now want to ask like, okay, so what are the criteria? A poor family that earns less than 500,000 Naira a year. So the guarantor that um, the last um, trip was talking about is that you would have two um, level 12 officers, at least level 12 civil servants that will stand in for you or you get a lawyer that has served for 10 years after he or she was called to bar. Now in the video that we started this story with, Tinubu also said that four years course will be four years course. Just to say that he said the same thing in 2015 or just before the 2015 election while he was campaigning for his predecessor, Muhammad Obuari, and we're really looking to see how this will be managed. And I think that here is the video. We need to have it now before we move on to other stories. You went to the university for seven, eight years instead of four years' course. Are you not tired for it? Are you not? School fees is becoming a thing of tears. Are you not tired of it? I can teach them how to create jobs locally. We will give you student loan, our program, four years 
will be four years. You will not stand before four years to graduate. Here. Okay, so that was in 2015 at the first successful campaign for Mr. President, former Mr. President Muhammadu Buhari. Another episode of Off Your Mic by the National Assembly is back. This time, it is to the lawmaker from the 9th Assembly that represented Bochi North Senatorial District, Senator Adamu Bukachua. Bukachua, whose wife, Justice Zainab Bukachua, was president of the appeal court from April 2014 to March 2020, was narrating before his colleagues at their valedictory session that he influenced the judgment of his wife so many times to favor his colleagues at the Senate. The senators who had the floor to air their minds as their tenure ended. Now remember that Oji Uzo Kalus was to cry because of how unfair Nigeria is and those were his words. So for Bukachua, it was important to hail his wife who left office in 2020 after clocking the mandatory retirement age of 70. As expected, maybe or maybe not, his mic went off as the Senate President Ahmed Lawan tried to stop him from going further on his thought. I brought every money they used in forming that party, every penny, in 1997 and 98, and I later became a thief. And people I gave transport money from my house in VI, VI became angels. This is what Nigeria represents. I want to thank my colleagues for giving me these four years of uninterrupted support. Okay, so let's have the video of Bukachua at the Senate validity session while he made those statements that he said. Particularly my wife, whose freedom and independence I encroached upon while she was in office. And she has been very tolerant and accepted my encroachment and extended her help to my colleagues. Uh, Dissumish, please, I, I don't think this is a good idea going this direction. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea, please. Expectedly. Yes, to some reactions now. First doctor is saying that, so this is why they will boldly tell you go to court. From Dr. A. Turumbe, he's saying that this is why I have absolutely ze no confidence in the Nigerian judiciary. Zero confidence. For those still hoping the judiciary will save democracy, I am waiting to see miracles. For Utema, he says this man just confessed to something so profound. In another country, he and his wife will be facing prosecution. Wow, when people call Nigeria a criminal enterprise, they have no idea how true that is. And she says, wow. More reactions coming from Unye Kwere saying that, so going by the confession of Senator Bukachua, every case that was of interest to the APC that got to retired Justice Zainab Bukachua, who was the president of the appeal court, was never decided on merit. This um, UNWC is saying that unbelievable that a senator whose wife was the president of the Court of Appeal could brag how he influenced her decisions. He embarrassed the Senate president by revealing the open truth about Nigeria's judiciary. We must give Senator Bukachua a national award as a whistleblower of the month. Hope retired Justice Zainab Bukachua will give a press release on how she was influenced. What a nation. For Mr. Baz, it says, in another words, Ahmed Lawan was telling the senator to off his mic. In a same time, retired Justice Bukachua would have been investigated and all her judgment as a judge would have been looked into. Well, let's see how this will um, be picked up. To another story now, the federal government has warned Nigerians to stop eating pomo 
smoked meat and bush meat due to the outbreak of anthrax disease in some neighboring countries. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development disclosed this in a statement and the reason is that because the outbreak of the anthrax is currently ravaging northern Ghana, bordering um, Burkina Faso and Togo. So the ban is a proactive measure just before it gets to Nigeria. Hopefully it doesn't. Now let's see some funny reactions to this right now as you would imagine as well. Scala is saying that what is this again? I ran away from consuming beef and red meat and stayed on the lane of my pomo and fish. Now you are saying pomo is also a no-go area. For heart desire, it says, so even, what, so even when it's cooked, the heat no go kill the anthrax. <laughs> Too late for anthrax now. Instead, I go put more firewood, cook them well. And more reactions coming from Remy Lekon, who says, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. On a better face, how our economy go better and leave us with a momo jejeli. And also reacting to this is Ayodele Chukum Noso, who says, Pomo where people done the chops since the days of Methuselah. It reached 2023. Federal government the talk say it they give anthrax. What is anthrax doing inside a pomo soaked in pepper stew already? Well, for time factor, that is everything on Kakaki Social this morning. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Good morning, Uncle Lee and Perry. Good morning, Rena. Interesting stories there, but then we don't have much time to delve into yeah. all the facts. But we wish you the very best out there. You too. Let's see how Nigeria will stop. Oh, more bush meat, <laughs> so much delicacy <laughs> for them. Anyway, so you have a great day. You too. We'll take a.